are you hungry? And if so, you're in the right place as usual. Today, we're making mentaiko pasta. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gut. As you can tell, we're still on the Itameshi trip, the Japanese-Italian fusion. Um, and the mentaiko pasta, we're not making it with pasta, we're making it with udon noodles. Um, but we'll go through that when we have a look at the ingredients. But before we do that, as always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please do me the favor, hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. But now let's have a look. Our ingredients on the board, if you were paying attention before, you realized there was only two bottles. I forgot to put the rice vinegar out. So we have rice vinegar, we have uh, mirin, some cooking sake. These three bowls are for decorating purposes. We have some spring onions, we have a bit of nori, and we have some katsubushi. We have our udon noodles. I couldn't find fresh ones here, so these are dried ones. The main difference between, well, these are also wheat flour and salt. So you don't need to salt the water like you do with Italian pasta, because the, the Japanese pasta already has salt in it. We have some butter and we have a dashi, because we're making kind of a, a beurre blanc, a dashi beurre blanc to go with the udon. And we have the star of the show, our mentaiko. Mentaiko is a uh, pollock roll uh, that's been salted and spiced with, um, I think it's actually chili. The only thing we need to prep, obviously you see I cut the spring onions already, um, that's boring anyways. But the only thing we need to prep is the mentaiko. So we'll start with that, and then the rest takes place at the stove. But see in a bit for the mentaiko. Basically what you do is you have to open the, the roi sacks and scrape out the insides, the roi. Mm, it smells great. Normally you can get this in like Japanese, um, sometimes Korean stores, either in the frozen or the fresh section. But lately, at least in Switzerland, it's been impossible to get them. So I was lucky I got, I got this portion from my dear friend Eddie. And you just scrape it out like this. So do that to both of your roe sacks. And then uh, we'll actually move over to the stove straight away. I'll see you over there. We'll start this off with half a deciliter of uh, cooking sake and half a deciliter of mirin. We just want to get the alcohol out. And now we can go in with our homemade dashi. It's just a kombu and katsubushi dashi. So very classical. Now we're going to reduce this a bit to give it a bit more power. And we're going to add our butter. So we reduced it a bit. We'll turn down the heat and we'll start with our butter. I'm doing it in this pasta pan because we're push, putting the pasta straight into this pan afterwards. Little by little. As you can see, I switched and I used my mixer. And now you don't want to heat this too much anymore because then it's going to split. What we're still missing is obviously the mentaiko, but before that we're missing salt and we're missing the vinegar. We'll put a good pinch of salt in, a dash of rice vinegar. And off camera at the same time, I'm cooking the udon noodles. You just put them in boiling water. Let's give this a try again. A little bit more acidity. And in goes our mentaiko. This will also add to the saltiness. So 
don't over salt it before you have added them in taiko. And you can see now this reddish, or is it reddish? Is it more orange maybe? Well, the color changed now with the roe. And again, you don't want to cook this now. Just want to keep it warm. And our udon is done, so we add it. And now you could try to toss it, but since I am filming this, it's going to be difficult to film if I toss it and it's quite full. So we'll just make sure that we are mixing everything. And there we have it. Now we just need to serve this up. Now we have our three toppings. But before we serve this up, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, takes you a second, but it's so valuable for me, so do me that favor. But now, let's serve this up. There we go. Oop. portion we'll get a spoon out to get the sauce as well because the sauce is the best part it's almost become one now the sauce and the pasta which is the gold anyways but now we just need to put our Spring onions on top. A bit of kachubushi. And some nori leaves. And there we are, ready to eat it. Can't wait for this. Now the trick is to basically mix it all. I will eat it Japanese style. I'm not too good at slurping, but I will try. Mm. If you didn't know how I made this, you would think that there's a lot of cream in it. Well, there's a lot of butter, but it's not the same thing. Mm. It's an umami bomb. Now, as I said, it's not easy to get mentaiko sometimes, so you might need to look around, need to look around for it a bit. But once you find it, it's so worth it, because this is a it's a major comfort dish. And if you, as always, if you have any questions about the recipe. Just leave them down in the comments. I always always answer them. That's pretty much it for this time. Uh, the only thing left to say as always, if you're not a subscriber yet, which I know unfortunately a lot of you aren't yet, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get a notification when a new episode comes out. But that's it for me. Take care. Thank you.